Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Berserk 2016, which is on episode 8. Now, this episode right here had nothing much really going on, but one thing for sure, things are starting to get tense, are getting really tense for the time being. Those of you who are manga readers will know what I'm talking about. It's getting close to that event that we all know is about to come. It was already foreshadowed to many others, without even realizing, you know? So, if anything else, let's just get this started and hurry up. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, after its opening, we have to it that everyone else is starting to fight each other, is starting to fight, you know? Especially Guts going up against that goat demon guy, or goat half-apostle person. He tells Isidoro to go, to go on ahead and keep an eye on Casca and the other girl, you know? So, as he takes on the freaking half-apostle guy, he ends up realizing that arrows won't really work. So he uses these miniature mini bombs, which really works on him. And then he beheads him with this big sword. And later on, we have to with that after like a certain fight here and there, Guts ends up running into, into Serpico, which is a bad time for him. Because apparently Guts t even says in his mind that this guy is much more, is much tough, it's way more tougher. Is way tough to handle than a half apostle guy because like um Serpico's movements and his agility with the sword, along with his other skills of having fast reflexes, is what makes Serpico a very dangerous opponent for guts, especially if he's in a narrow area. I mean, after killing that half apostle guy, he ends up trying to get to Casca and the other girl, Nina, I believe, or something. Or yeah, I think her name's Nina. Um yeah, Nina. But we have to it that Guts managed to get him off his back eventually. And as for Casca and Nina, they get captured because a freaking Yohan just won't shut the f up or something, you know? Apparently. So, as the episode continues, we have to it that Serpico apologizes and Guts is really upset about this. But he decides to go save Casca. Eventually, as the episode continues, Nina was brought into the torture chamber, apparently, and she says, Luca, please give me your courage. The moment she looks at it, I end up saying, I just said out loud, you ain't gonna need courage because you don't have any. And apparently, after seeing all the... F right now, she's scared as heck, and she even wet herself, obviously. <laughs> wow. So next episode, it looks like the event is getting closer and closer by the minute, you know, so... Things are going to get really hectic from here on out. I don't know what's really bound to happen, but one thing for sure, it's going to get really, really crazy. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right? Peace out. Bye-bye. Two to do.